Try, Adapt, Learn. In this video, we will try to test how to balance lawnmower blades with the DIY lawnmower blade balancer. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe now for more videos including maintenance, DIY, and other random projects. A properly balanced lawnmower blade will help to provide a safer, more efficient machine. Balanced blades will also help to prolong the life of components such as spindles and belts. Without having a proper lawnmower blade balancer, I wanted to share the test of this DIY balancer made from scrap wood and extra hardware. This DIY blade balancer is not a substitute for a proper blade balancer or nail in the wall, but a test to experiment different ideas on how to balance blades. As seen, the balancer hardware was mounted to scrap wood in an L shape so that it would hang off the workbench and also be removable for storage. The hardware mounted to the scrap wood would allow for three different configurations to test the balancing of the lawnmower blades. The first test will be done with a series of ball bearings mounted to the side of the wood. The compromise with this setup is that the diameter of the ball bearings may not exactly match the diameter of the mounting holes on the blade. Another compromise is that, unlike one of the professional balancers, there is no magnetic backing to hold the blade from falling forward. Weight was added to the side of the blade to demonstrate an example that would be extremely off balance. As seen with this new blade, although compromised, it is possible to identify a balanced blade. Balancing the blade on the carriage bolt with the round head is shown because it would be the equivalent to balancing the blade with a nail in the wall or a nail in the bench vise. This would be the most common and most cost effective way to balance. With consideration to blades with star pattern mounting holes, they would be balanced on opposite sides. An additional way to balance the blade using the carriage bolt would be to place the blade on the top while looking down. If the blade was placed exactly in the middle and it was steady, then it would be balanced. It would likely be that you would try to balance the blade to prevent it from falling. When doing so, you would need to look straight down to see if the blade was balanced exactly in the middle of the edges of the mounting hole. I found this method to be the most compromised without reference marks down the exact center of the blade. The last configuration tested was hanging the blade with a bearing, washer, and string. The bearing would be used as the balancer while the washer would be used as the mounting plate. This configuration of balancing would be used as an alternative to the cone type balancer. The advantage of this configuration in addition to the others is that it would be able to check for balance on a different plane of the blade. The conclusion of the test with this DIY balancer is that all configurations had a compromise. Blades that are really off balance will be quickly noticed with any of these tests. Blades that were close to being balanced will have compromises with all configurations of this setup. The most likely compromise is that you will try to balance the blade on each configuration. Therefore, even if the blade balances on each configuration, you'll need to double check with your eye on how centered the blade is actually mounted while being balanced. If it's perfectly centered while mounted, then it's perfectly balanced. If you double check and the blade is mounted slightly off center, that will be the margin of error for the balance. The solutions to the compromises of the DIY balancer configurations are that each blade needs to be double checked to see how centered the blade is actually mounted while being balanced. Also as a double check, multiple tests, ideally in multiple configurations, would be done for each blade. For many, it may be more convenient and cost effective just to use the nail on the wall or to purchase pre-made balancers. This however was an interesting project, especially for those who may have the extra hardware and are willing to work with the compromises. As I make new videos, I want to share them with you, so subscribe now. Also comment, like, and check out some of the other content on our channel.